Hello and Happy New Year! I am Anime, and today we're going to be taking a look inside a quirky little exploration platformer that a lot of you will have heard of called Fez. So I'm a little bit of the way through this game. Nowhere near the end as far as I, well, according to that I'm, you know, not too far off the end. So I'm, you know, about 80%, 70-80% way through. So let's have a look at this game. So, what you see here, you know, your typical sort of platformer looking thing. This wouldn't be too out of place in a creepy remake of Mario. But the twist is, and I mean that quite literally, that you can rotate the world to get around. So let's go to a slightly less obvious area. So, okay. So you're going on here. We've got some ivy up there we can climb. We've got some place we can jump to, except we can't jump to them at the moment. So let's rotate around. Oh. <laughs> That's a good start, really showing off my skills. So yeah, we can jump up to places like this. Get up here. And this is the way we explore the world. Oh. I have no idea what... Was that all supposed to sound black? I'm really confused. <laughs> so, the aim is that you want to collect these little sort of cubes. Um, so, I've currently got 16 regular ones, you can see on the left, 7 special anti-cubes, and I've got 5 shards, and they are collected throughout the world. So let's see if we can get to... I think there's probably some door around here somewhere. Okay, let's just hunt around. So you might have noticed that I started off on that pillar on the left. See if I can get back up there. Okay, let's get back up here. So, you can see I'm here on this right one now. So I rotate the world, move myself along a bit. The world's just turned black again. This is really helpful game when I'm trying to show you off. <laughs> and I'm now here on this other one because it's playing with perspective. I'm now moving on the front bit and I've moved across. So, where am I actually trying to get to? I don't actually know because I didn't prepare this. What's this thing down here? To pivot. Ooh. Thank you. So that's going to let me get around. Can I get up here? Come on, let me get up. No. So I might be able to cling on to there. This is really quite frustrating, the fact that it's turning black every now and then. So now I'm up here. Good. And now I am through this doorway onto the other side. Yes, I am. Don't know how that's actually helping me, but whatever. I'll roll with it. Let's... Oh. Bloomin' hell. Okay. I guess let's get back up. There we are. Come on. Okay, where's an actual... Oh... Uh, that's going to be incredibly frustrating, because you can't... You see those black bits up there? You can't get through them. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's see if I can get through that. Okay, there I am. Okay, making it through. There we are. Skilled platforming right there. And through a door into a completely different area. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh. So, what's going on here? At any point you can open this essentially map. It just shows you essentially the connection between the zones and what's in each particular zone. So if you've got a gold border, that means you've done everything in that zone. And if you don't, that means you've still got things left to find. So in this one, as you can see, I've got some bits and there's a treasure chest so let's have a look and see if we can find them we can have a look around to have a bit of an idea what's going on so there's a bit up top there so i guess let's try and find that so we've got another pivot oh no i need to do it a little bit further along don't i because there's a ladder on the left hand side there so if i do that it should all line up 
So not all of the exploration is as simple as this. Some of the other bits have got some slightly more obscure things to try and work out and the game doesn't really give you any hint as to how to do it. So as you can see on this sign, this is something to do with a game language that it never explains to you at all and just kind of expects you to figure out whether blimmin' hell is this chest. I can't see a chest around here. Well, okay, let's just go through the door. And there are other bits where it turns out that you've got to convert tetromino pieces into... Huh, what's going on here? Into button presses, which again is completely non-obvious. And to be honest, I only found out about them by fluke when reading up about this game. I don't know how you would figure that out by yourself. Okay, so there's nothing in here except for a gate. That's cool. These gates let you fast run. Can I actually jump up to... Well, the game just kind of alt-tabbed out of itself. <laughs> that's weird. That's never happened before. Oh. Okay, those things rotate me around. That is... Confusing. <laughs> okay, let's get up here. So different areas have got different... themings going on with them. So this one seems to have something to do with rotation. Others have got... platforms which are only visible... when you see... lightning hit them. Or well, not lightning hit them, but lightning light up the background and therefore you can see the actual squares that you can jump on or by seeing the rain fall onto... Ah! ah come on. Let's get up here again. Where can I get to from here? I don't think I can get up there. This music is really... Ah, there we go. This music is really not pleasant music. Most of the music in the game is quite inoffensive and nice. But this should open up a fast travel point for me, which is good! But a lot of the game is really quite gentle. It pushes you at your own pace. The one thing that I wish had been introduced was a more general fast travel system that if you've been to an area, you can walk back to it from some door you've already entered. That would be a real time-saving thing, because as you, there are only five of these warp gate places, so you can get to the end of a, a whole chain of these. Not that way, because that's obviously got... Well, not obviously, but say you can... That's your central area. You might be able to got one, two, three, four. If you can't figure out what's happening at the end of here and go into a different place, you've still got to go through a lot of different worlds in order to get back there. Platforming through them again and again, and sometimes you can't necessarily remember which door leads where, which is, again, a bit of a pain with this map screen. But on the whole, there's nothing too frustrating going on. It's just a nice relaxed time. It says I've not done everything here, but stuff I'm going to move on anyway, because it said there was just a gate and I've been to the gate, so. The first... Yeah, that's weird. There are some puzzle rooms as well. What's in this one? Oh, it's a locked door. Good thing I've got a key. Is that going to go up? Yes. Yeah, interesting. Can I make that jump? Yes, I can. Where is this locked door? Oh, it's up there. Cool, I can make it there. So the first little puzzle room I came across is still actually my favourite. And it's... It was essentially a room. It had a load of spots that you could put rocks on. And you had to have them make Tetris pieces, except they had to look like specific Tetris pieces from all of the different angles. Meaning that you had to put them in precisely the right position so that 
they ended up being correct from all directions. Okay, so this is... Ah, I get this one. That's... That's quite clever. There we go. What am I even doing in this room? Literally nothing. I'm just moving on to a different place. <laughs> but I don't know where. There doesn't seem to be... Well, well, well... Okay. Stop going black game. I don't know why this is happening. It might just be a problem with trying to do it whilst recording. That would be a really strange problem. It might be that I've... turned V-Sync off to make it look a bit smoother, I guess. But again, that would be weird. Okay, we're in sort of a swamp area. Well, okay. So we got... I can't seem to do anything. Valve, yeah. Oh, right, need to actually... Do that. So, has that... Okay, well, there should be a piece somewhere around there. Oh, maybe I can only see things. Oh, there we go. Oh. I do not like being in that water, apparently. Nope, wrong way. Let's put it down some more. There we go. Simple. Doesn't appear to be anything more going on. Here. So I'd like to find, I guess, a door. Can I get up that way? No. So if. Oh, nope. If I were a door. Come on. I'm not. We're just close. Is that the angle? Come on. Up there. There we go. Let's have it be something like that. Okay, that's not. That's just taking me back over that way. That's not helpful. Okay. Where is the next door? So this is a lot of the thinking about it. It's, it gets more challenging throughout the game. I think I might just try and lower the water as far as it'll go. I think that's as low as it'll go. No doors. Come on, doors. I want doors. Maybe this... Ah, there we go. There's a door. I don't like this colour scheme in this level, to be honest. But then, it's a sewer level in a video game, you're not supposed to enjoy them. So yeah, it's pretty much this. Ooh! It's a warp gate! I like that. That excites me because that means I can, you know, get back to other places. It's the sort of game where you'd play it if... Ooh, there's a ladder. Didn't realise there was a ladder going on there. It's the sort of game that you'd play if... You're not really feeling like doing anything too stressful. Is there a ladder down that side? I don't think so. There's, a, there's definitely a ladder there, but I'm just trying to see how I can get to it, because I don't think I can jump that far. Ah, there's a little bit on this side anyway. Ah! I have no idea how I got that, but I will take it. Got myself a new cube! I like cubes. Okay, that'll let me get over here. There we go. Let's pick that up. Raise the water some further. That wasn't English. <laughs> Raise the water some further. Well then. And we have unlocked another gate. So yeah, if you enjoy having a relaxing time with some well-crafted puzzles, 
and some slightly more obscure ones where you shouldn't feel ashamed at occasionally having to look at the Steam forums and say, hey, I've come across this type of puzzle, roughly what sort of thing should I be doing? Obviously, you don't want to have the answers just shouted out to you, but, well, if you do, what do I care? It's your business. But it gives you a bit of a head scratcher and it's, it's fun. There is a story, it's not really anything to speak of, or at least not so far as I've seen. So yeah, check it out. It's about seven quid currently on Steam. You can pick it up for less than that if you wait for a sale. I think it goes under a pound at those points. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. Have a look at it. So anyway, I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day. Goodbye.